Hello everyone, this is Lance from the Yggdrasil Game Station, and today we're playing Banjo-Kazooie. Last episode we got the intro and cutscenes out of the way. Do you mind? I was talking! Anyway, we're doing Mumbo's Mountain. So this is like the tutorial level. I can get it done in one episode, I'm pretty sure it's not that hard. I'm gonna ignore those. To start with, there are these things. Notes. The note at the bottom of the screen will repeat exactly what I'm saying, pretty much. There are 100 of the, there are 100 of them in every level, and if you collect them all, you can unlock things in the world. That's a Jinjo. There are five of them in every level, and you need to collect them to get a Jiggy. One of the ten Jiggies in the level is collecting the Jinjos. So yeah, my goal is to get all the notes, all the Jinjos, and all the Jiggies in around 15 minutes. Let's see if we can do it, guys. This level isn't that hard, so it shouldn't be too bad. There's that jerk pole. He's a jerk. Oh jeez, he changes his trajectory. I didn't think he would do that. My jeez. Everything is so hostile in this level. It's supposed to be a tutorial. You jerk. Anyway, there are some of these flying around the worlds where bottles will teach you a new move. This one is the Talent Trot. It lets Kazooie walk so that you can get up steep slopes. I don't know how Kazooie carries the bird, like the bear, Banjo, not the bird. Kazooie is the bird, that's... How Kazooie carries Banjo around, considering he's much heavier, and she also moves faster. Look. If it wasn't for that really annoying sound, it would be easier to walk around like that. I hear you, Jinjo. The Jinjos will whistle to you when they're nearby. Um, because they want to be collected. Oh yeah, I forgot. If she didn't make this annoying sound, it would be easier to walk around the levels as her. But that sound is just awful. Squeaky, 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 squeaky. That's two of those guys. There's a mumbo skull hidden back here that we're gonna grab real quick. There are several of those in every level because every level not every level, I lied. There are several of those in any level that has a mumbo hat house on it. Hut, house, skull, whatever. Um, he uses them to transform you into different animals or things. So Whenever you see one, just pick it up so that you can use it. They don't carry over between levels, I don't believe, because most things don't. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me just get that, thank you. Don't want to give anybody, you know, a user, I guess. I think it's all over the chat. Yep, alright, so already we have most of the notes. And two Jinjos. We're going pretty well. Three Jinjos, I lied. Here you gotta get him to land the oranges on the orange shaped pads. And you get a thingy. Next, you gotta steal an orange from him, and bring it to this asshole who can't even be bothered to feed himself. And then he calls you fat. Like, look, he actually does call you fat. Should be helped, fat Baron Bird. I accept this, but I am highly offended by it. And the last thing, aw, oh, forced camera angles! And the last thing to do over here is to get the egg shooter ability. And press the top C button to shoot an egg out of your mouth. 
Press the bottom C button. Instead, I can shoot them out from behind. That sounds painful. See? This thing can be creepy. Just a little creepy. Then he gives you free eggs because we're all right. For this part, you have to walk up to him, shoot in the face, <laughs> then back away. He's gonna throw something at you. Then run up to him, shoot in the face, and run away. Then shoot in the face. Ow. Damn. Doing that without getting hit is weird because he throws them at such a weird time. But I, now that you hit him twice, I can do it one more time. What are you kidding? What? You can see me! Just try to do it before he hits me? There we go! That was weird. Thank you, Nintendo 64. I will get that in a sec. First you reflect all this stuff. Or not. I meant to do that. Jiggies are important. We'll grab that stuff. We have to come back here when I get the ground pound. Because I need to uh, activate the crypto switch over here. But we can do that later. Because there's there's no good way to do this, because you need the Toto switch here, or the egg shooting power up where you get the ground pound. So, either way, you're out one of them. I didn't mean to do that. Dash it. Oh wow, I got to that. There we go. So yeah, onto the last ability in the last little area of this level. We'll grab the to the switch after we the terminal hill. Also, I know this level pretty well, but after this level, it's all kind of blurry, so while I can speed through this level, the others, we may be in for a while. Other levels may take up to two episodes. The idea is I'll do every episode in one sitting, though, so even if I don't finish, then the videos will just be the sitting. So hopefully it won't be too bad. Take this. Need these. We've got more than half of the notes already. Good stuff. Oh yeah, you can do that after you've already double jumped. You can do this after a double jump. Which would be cool. For instance, watch. Gives you a little extra like. That's almost all the gingos. I know the last one is. And another life. But we have more lives. Maybe they're counted by world. Oh, or they don't carry over after you save, which is also possible. Easiest jiggy ever right here. Well, I don't know, there's the one on the platform that you didn't even have to do a back shot for. Two very easy jiggies in this level. Another easy thing. You gotta beat this thing. Let me get centered on the sides of it so that I can look at it. That is not how I shoot. I wanted to bro fist him first. No, I'm not right in front of it. You gotta be in, because he shoots at a straight angle, so you gotta be like right in front of it. One sec. You'll miss this if you don't know it's here. But there is actually a Nico piece on top of that. There's one more on this level, too. We'll get it on our way to the gun token switch. Jiggy! 
<laughs> now, this hill has some notes on it that we need to collect, and another Jiggy and a Ginger. Also, this game is a cool way of rendering where it doesn't render faraway objects, but it does render landscapes. Like, you can see that area over there. If you got close enough, the tree would just slowly fade in. Which is pretty, you know, advanced for an N64 game. It's nothing new now, we do it all the time, but N64s were not very hardware, you know, intensive. So, good for them. It also means they can do things like actually put you at the top of towers and then you can jump off. Which is amazing for the N64. Because they're still using ROMs, not even discs, they're using cartridges. Last one. Got them all. The Jiggy up. Now there's just the one at the top of the ant hill and we'll have them all. One sec though, we're gonna grab the extra honey pieces over here. That little cave there is the extra honey piece. Oh, she can't talentron up there. Oh, but I bet the termite can do it. The termite can ride up pretty steep walls. I thought she could, but apparently not. Let's get up there. Let's become a termite. They've got all of them, I think. Oh no, there's one inside the termite hill. That's right. I'm sorry about that sound, but this is just faster. Okay, now you all die. Uncalled for. You just call me ugly? I think he did. I want to be on. Oh, there we go. Also, I didn't just say I want to be on. You heard that, because you're a pervert, not me. Anyway, let's become a termite. Yay, termites! I'm gonna grab these real quick. No, don't talk to me. Uh, your skull at the bottom is creepy. Like, his animated skull is fine, but his, like, slightly 2D one is actually really creepy. Look at that. Stare straight into your soul. Sweet! We're a term right now. So, first things first, we'll go to the termite tower, then get the extra life piece, then hit the Grantilla switch. Oh, I can't hit the Grantilla switch like this, I'll just turn it back. So then I'll do the life piece first, get to the top, turn back, hit the Grantilla switch. Woohoo! We're 30%? Yeah, 30% the way to the next life. Honeycomb. Short gap. That's nice, but they're mine, so, you know. Don't a short gap. I'm sure Termites have short gap. Also, sorry if I fall sometimes. These platforms are a little weird. No, screw you! It's my backpack. Thank you, bottles. Got nothing to say? At least you're the least jerky termite. Let's get out of here. I'm tired of being surrounded by termites. I've been inch towards extra life. Oh, okay, so let's put a rendering error. This last time it said we went up to 3 to 4, but this time it said we went up from 5 to 6. Got it. And you get that cool fat there. It tells you that you're done. So now I'm going to become regular Banjo. Oh, this is terrible. I have to become regular Banjo, hit the front total switch, become a termite again, and then leave. For reasons. When you see what the Grantilla switch does, you'll understand why I have to come all the way back up here. 
And I'm sorry, but this is the fastest way to get down there. So, burden bear with me. Ah, I made it fine. Don't have to subscribe, don't leave, please. No, I fell. See, he slides when you're done. Like, he actually makes little smoke trails and slides. So yeah, this... The Grunchilla switches affect the outside layer. Like that, for instance. So now there's a... Jiggy on top of that really tall mountain. The issue is that Kazooie's walk won't get you there. You've got to be a termite. So now I have to go all the way back up and become a termite again. The good news is, though, that we're just over 16 minutes, so I'm going to get that last Jiggy, and then we'll be done, and this will be a good, fulfilling episode. Yay! Now, the next level will take me four episodes because I'm going to get lost in time. I, have, I don't even remember what the next one is. I think it's Treasure Trove Cove. But, if it's not Treasure Trove Cove, I have no idea what's coming. Also, I like saying Treasure Trove Cove. It kind of melts into one word, but still. Treasure Trove Co. It's got a nice ring to it. Unlike Mumbo's Mountain. The Termite does not take fall damage. I don't know if Banjo does, but the Termite does not. So yeah, you can take the mobile transformations outside of the thing, the levels. But they only work for like 50 feet away from the level door. Yay! For instance, let me become a human. No, screw you! Stop taking my shorts! Yep, see? Now we're gonna be a bear again. And bear! Woohoo! So, let's get back into the main room here, away from that termite. This has been Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie Episode 2. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!